Hello everyone and welcome to Waterfall Joe. In today's video I'm going to be going over the equipment and the gear that I'm taking to Iceland in a couple weeks. I have a whole bunch of equipment I'm taking. I'm going to show you my bag and the configuration. I'm going to show you how much it weighs at the end because I know that Iceland Air has strict carry-on policies for weight. And I hope that if any of the, if you're going on a trip to Iceland anytime soon, maybe you'll take some inspiration or maybe this will help you with the gear that you're going to be taking. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. All right, so today we're going to be talking about everything that I carry in my camera bag and all the equipment I'm taking with me to Iceland. We're actually flying to Iceland in less than two weeks from now. This is around, uh, this is Memorial Day today. We're flying to Iceland and Iceland Air actually has a restriction of 22 pounds for a carry-on. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how much my bag weighs after I show you all the equipment that I'm putting in there. I've actually already done my measurements and I've already done anything. This bag is completely fine. But I don't, you know, I want to leave a few pounds just for extra goodies that I may get there or, or right before we go if there's another lens I want to take with me or anything. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So this is a Mindshift Backlight 26 liter bag. I've had this bag for over six years now. It's never failed me. I've taken it to all of my waterfall adventures and it is, in my opinion, just the best outdoor bag. I have, well, my camera's on a tripod right now, but normally my tripod goes right here in this side pocket, although you can also mount it to the front of the bag too. Now, on my flight to Iceland, I will actually be putting my tripod in my suitcase. I don't really want it to be hanging off the sides of the bag, plus I don't want to go over my weight limit on the flight either. All right, so now we're getting in the camera bag. So let's go ahead and just show you how I have it laid out here. So I have camera lens, lens, extra batteries, filters. These are related to my memory cards and microphones and everything. This is actually the slot where the camera goes, which is what I'm filming on right now. This is all my cleaning supplies and here's even more extra batteries. So let's just dive into everything individually. So of course, got to take the most important part, the Nikon Z6 II. So my accessories here are a ProMaster L bracket. And I've actually talked about L brackets before in a, a waterfall video I did, but essentially this allows you to mount your tripod, your camera on this way or this way when you're on a tripod. I am not a fan of using a neck strap because I'm always, always using a tripod, but I do have the Peak Design, I believe this is called the cuff. I have the Peak Design cuff, which is a, just a piece you can wrap around your wrist when you're holding it so that if you drop it, you have an extra piece of support. And Let's actually go over memory cards as well. So in here I am using the Lexar 256 CF Express card. And I'm also using the Lexar 256 SD card. Now this is a UHS-2 card, so it has the incredible read-write speeds for my vlogging and any high-speed shooting. I don't do too much high-speed shooting, but because it is a Nikon Z6 II, I don't want to have to run into the risk of um, the memory card slowing down the camera because this is a very fast camera. So, you know, if we're in Iceland and we're photographing the puffins, I don't want to have to worry about my memory card slowing down. And that actually just fits right there in that top part right up there. All right, so next up is my favorite lens of all time. This is the Tamron 35 to 150 f2 to 2.8. In terms of one lens to do it all. This lens is extremely versatile. I also made a video talking about this lens and how you can kind of use it for a one lens travel solution. On the front of this, of course, we have the lens hood. I actually have a 82 millimeter polarizer on there currently. Now it is a little dirty. I got to clean it up. But with a polarizer, of course, you can spin it and clean up that glaring and reflections, which is going to be a big deal for Iceland because everything is wet there and I want to clean up that wet look. I almost always leave my polarizers on because I never shoot without them. The other lens I have it actually comes in this nice Nikon bag. This is my favorite wide angle. This is the Nikon Z 17 to 28 2.8. Now I'm going to probably be shooting most of my waterfalls with this lens because I love the 17 millimeter range. Look how compact this is. This is such a small little lens. On the front here, I actually was just shooting waterfalls last week, so I still have a polarizer on the front as well. 
this is going to be used heavily in Iceland. I love that Nikon provides the bag and I love to keep it in the bag at all times. All right, let's go over what else we have in here. So down here, you might see I have all of these plastic containers. These are all of my filters. And yes, I have a lot of them. So let's go over each one. So 82 millimeters and 67 millimeters are the two sizes that I have. The 35 to 150 takes an 82. The 17 to 28 takes a 67. So I have all of my filters to cover all of that. So let's go individually here. So this one here is a ProMaster HGX Prime 3.0, which is actually equal to a 10 stop ND filter. And if we open it, you can see, yes, that is pitch black. So this is, I'm gonna use this for the super crazy long exposures. Next up, we have another 82 millimeter, but this is a 0.9, which means this is actually a three stop ND filter. So you can see this one, you can actually see through it. This is a lot clearer. In my opinion, the three stop is my favorite filter to use for waterfalls because it's not too over the top. Next up, I have a 67 millimeter three stop ND filter. I use this filter for almost everything and I mostly use it on the 17 to 28. I actually have a few different stops. This is a four stop ND filter. I also have a, I believe this is a six stop. And this is another 10 stop ND filter. And I'm going to use these for the long exposures in Iceland for the waterfalls or for along the coast. And I want to get the long silky exposure along the water. These are a must have for anything landscape long exposure related. So next up, let's talk about batteries. So this is where I keep my batteries right here. I have the ProMaster Enel 15C USB rechargeable batteries. Now these are really cool. You can actually, it usually comes with the cable, but you can actually store two in here. These are really cool because they have the charging port on the side and I have a USB-C phone. So I will just charge this with the phone cable that I have. Now, when you buy this, you get one in a pack, but I have a lot of batteries. So I actually store two in there. This is the Think Tank battery holder. And I actually carry four extra batteries here. And I actually, uh, the way that I keep track of which one's charged and which one's charged, these are all charged. But when it's not, when it's dead, I actually take it and flip it around so that it is flat on the top. That's my way, that's my way of keeping track of my batteries. So there's six. I also have two more down here. That takes, that brings me to a total of eight batteries. I might actually leave two behind because I think six is a little overkill. And this is the ProMaster Enel 25, which is actually used for my vlogging camera here. But there's the Nikon brand, and there is also the Nikon brand. I just use these as storage cases. But this is a great, great thing to get. And in terms of charging, of course, as you saw, I can actually plug those directly in. But I also have the ProMaster Dually Charger, which you take this cable, you plug it into any USB port, and you can actually charge two batteries at once in there. So I'm actually gonna leave this plugged into the car that we're renting. I'm gonna leave it plugged into the, the USB port. And whenever we're driving around the island, I'm going to be charging my batteries as we go. And the only other thing I wanna talk about in here is this. This is my bag of storage. So I actually have two additional memory cards, CF Express cards. And then in here, this is actually a Delkin Devices Rugged. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. But when you pop this open, I keep all my memory cards in there. So I have a mix of ProMaster SanDisk. I have ProMaster Rugged cards. These are waterproof. I've used the hell out of them. They are great. But I have all this plus my cards in here, plus the cards in the camera. I should be good to go on Iceland. And the last thing I want to talk about is my cleaning case course Nikon branded. So when we open this up, 
This is where I keep my microfiber cloths. I have lens pins in here. I actually just keep a little set of Allen wrenches in here for my tripods and everything. But yeah, this is mostly just my microfibers and everything. So this is how I lay this bag out. If I were to change anything, I would probably consolidate down here and I would maybe try to fit another lens in. I also have this Tamron 90 macro that I'm really contemplating if I want to take with me or not. And that would actually fit in right down there. But I also have to fit the Z30, the camera I'm filming on. So this is normally where the Z30 goes. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the made lens. This is the wide angle lens. And it's kind of a two lenses that cover everything. I actually made a video on that as well. All right, so I'm going to actually flip the bag over. Now this bag, has, this bag has a very nice front section here. You can actually open up the front. And you have an entire amount of storage in here as well. What I have in here is actually my camera rain. This is to cover the camera in the really gross weather. I believe, what is this? This is a think tank, I believe. I'm not too sure who makes this. I believe it's a think tank, but this actually goes over the camera in the gross weather. And there's actually a, a plastic piece. You can see your screen right there. Definitely gonna need that in Iceland. I have my camera strapped just in case I lose the original or the one I'm using now. I do carry a headlamp. This is mostly for like my astrophotography, but I'm gonna take it with me anyways, in case we go into a cave or something. I always carry an extra set of boot socks. And I think that's all I have in here. I'm actually gonna to try to keep this front part kind of empty because on Iceland Air, I don't want it to not be able to fit in the overhead and have to reposition everything. So I'm probably gonna leave this alone. All right, so that about sums it up for today's video. I believe the next video you'll be seeing from me should be related to Iceland somehow. Once again, I'm going to try to film, but I'm also just going to try to really focus on enjoying the trip and, and taking the best photos of my life. So I hope to be sharing that with you guys soon. If you have any thoughts on the bag or any thoughts on the gear, any questions, let them, leave them down below in the comments. If you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button so I know that you are interested in this. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.